Chris in the house. <laughs> hey, everybody. As Will Jones, Coach Will Jones Boom, says, boy, Will Jones. I'm Chris Germain. This is the CrossFit 310 Quick Pod, and we are here for a very special reason today. What is that reason? That reason is the Crucible. We've got this event coming up October 23rd called the Crucible. It's going to be fun. It's going to be amazing. I am extremely excited for this. Yep. If you haven't heard about it, we're going to talk about it today. Um, if you have heard about it and you have questions, hopefully we're going to address some initial questions because um, the cutoff on registration is the 3rd. Is that right? Boom. October 3rd. And go time is October 23rd. Boom. And 20 days later. Yep. This is this is an event. So listen, let's bring on. We've got uh, a couple of amazing people. We're gonna bring on today. We've got the famous Jen McMahon hey! and the amazing <laughs> mustachioed Paolo Stupa. Paolo, <laughs> <laughs> yes. welcome to the Quick Pod. You too. <laughs> Hi, Paolo. How are you? It's Luigi. Oh yes. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> There it is. Just before, if you were wondering, just before we started, we were like, wouldn't it be amazing if he had a fake mustache? Because I thought I saw something. I thought I saw a mustache. And then all of a sudden, it's happening. It is here. Yeah. But that just goes to show that, you know, as, as tough as a crucible may sound, you know, don't overthink it. Don't be too serious with it. Have fun with it. Oh, it's like our thing. Absolutely. We take movement very seriously, but, but we don't ourselves. take ourselves very seriously exactly. at all. Okay, um, well, we are here to talk about this event that we are going to do. Um, I would love, because Paolo is the man who brought it to me initially, and then we pitched it to the coaches, and then the coaches were like, let's do this. Oh, and yeah. So, Paolo, will you kind of give us a description or a rundown of what is this? What's this thing we're doing? Yeah, absolutely. So I've got this thing where, where every year I'll do a crucible event. So crucible event is just something that's bigger than you. And it, you know, for me, it's uh, to, to teach my kids that uh, to be comfortable being uncomfortable and they see me doing it and I learn a lot through it. So one of my seal fit buddies was, um, was telling me about, I guess that's about to be swallowed. <laughs> it's like, we, you would have slowly started eating yeah. it. And I would yeah. have been, I would have been more and more interested. I've been like, he's, he ate it. He yeah. ate it, Will. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Uh, yeah. yeah, you guys. So <laughs> one of my still fit buddies is saying, hey, you know, I did a crucible event for my 40th birth, for 48th birthday and I did a 24-hour event and I ran two miles um, every hour on the hour. So it's like an imam. And I said, how was it? He goes, well, it, it actually got tough. And I thought, you know what? I need to do that for my birthday. And then I thought, you know, this is just such a great idea. I, I can't keep it to myself. I've got to share it with all my friends at 310. And, and sure enough, it, uh, it's, it's grown into hopefully a community event. Um, and hopefully at the end of the day, you know, it's been a, it's been a tough year for everybody. And I think it's something at uh, next year we'll look back and think, wow, you know, there's some highlights of 2020. And this was one of them. I didn't expect to do it. Something I did. I did something I didn't think I could do. And um, we're going to have some fun doing it. Man, I love it. That's exactly what it is. Thank you. Um, so as, as you were saying, you brought it to us and we were like, oh, geez. I jumped on like, it. I know. I this jumped guy, on it right away. Of course. If you know Will and <laughs> Paolo, like nobody's like, oh, that's weird for them. But if you know me, like I'm, I'm, not, I'm not the runner. I'm the guy in this group that doesn't do this stuff. Coach Jen uh, world famous ultra marathoner <laughs> slash movie star, <laughs> movie star, <laughs> movie star. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, there's a lot going on. So she's got some of this. She's going to bring a great voice into this because, um, uh, physical endurance and mental endurance is something she's no stranger to. So, 
Um, I'm following all of you. I'm doing the exact, I like, I'm the guy that, that Paolo is talking about. I'm the guy that needs something. I'm the guy that would not do this without a group of friends. Just not, this isn't the one that I would do, right? I would do something else. And so I said, yes, because I love you people. And uh, it is the right year and the right time uh, to do something intentional with, with my training. Time is now. Yeah. Um, so well, let's, we need to give some information out, right? To kind of let people know how we're going about this and what we're going to be, what we're going to be doing. Um, I think I kind of described my short why. My why was it's 2020 and my training is off like most people, even though I'm back in the gym and we're training, that's good, but just a reason to train. Um, Will, give me your my, what, what, you just, cause, cause you just want something. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I, I, so for my why, right? It's it sounded good, you know, like it, it sounded something fun and adventurous, and I'm all about fun and adventure. Absolutely, there's a challenge aspect of it, and I know that I'm gonna be tested, and I guess I kind of, I I just want to see how I react uh, when it comes time for that test. I mean, you know, just... good. So you were all in, Coach Jen. Tell us about this. Um... Let's see. I also like fun and adventure. And I like, I really like the idea of us doing this together. And I'm pulling in some other people to do it with us too. So I think it's, it's going to be uh, a fun event. And at the end of the day, I think we'll all have some stories to tell. So I'm looking oh, yeah. forward to that. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, okay, well, let's Let's get into some of the things that we want to discuss inside of here. Um, so it happens on October 23rd. Yes, a Friday. Uh, right, that's right. So describe, um, Paolo, why don't you describe kind of the options? Like how, what is this? How are we going to do it? You gave a short description of it, but when Friday the 23rd rolls around, what are kind of the options that people have? Yeah, so you've got three options. The first option is the 24 hour, and that starts at 6 p.m. on Friday. So you're going to be doing, you know, ideally, uh, if you're doing the 24, you know, shoot for a, a 50. There's something special, I think, and Jen could test this doing 50 miles, right? So it'd be 2.1 miles every hour for 24 hours. So something special about doing an event overnight um, or getting up super early at night to do something. Um, if you're looking for a test, uh, it's going to test you. Uh, the second option is, and by the way, uh, the second option is either doing a half marathon or a full marathon, and that's 12-hour window. Now, you can start at 6 if you want to try something overnight, or if you don't want to do that, you could start at 6 a.m. in the morning, and that runs for uh, 12 hours. So if you're doing a half marathon, it'd be 1.1 miles, something in that area, uh, every hour on the hour, or 2.1 miles, something in that neighborhood for the marathon. And that's it. And you can do it on your own. You can walk it. You can run it. You can jog it. You can do part of it on the treadmill. You can walk your dog. Uh, you can even do it with friends. Right. It's, it's your choice. Yeah. Um, that is going to be an, a kind of an ongoing talk inside of this. Like, that's where we have geeked out the most. Uh, like, because there's lots of office coaching talks. Yes. Because, like, I'm all nervous about this for different reasons. But most of our talks have been like, how are you going to do it? It's really how are you going to express this thing? Um, because there are some people that are going to do it together with other people, right? Side by side with other people. There are some people that are going to be, like, going into the pain cave all by themselves. Yeah. For uh, certain hours, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, 24 hour event you know my my guess is i'm going to need to be connected to some people for a number of it there's going to be some like danger hours where i'm like what am i doing this for i'm gonna go get <laughs> i'm gonna go take a nap and i need i need some connection and i need a plan um also i figured out that i need to not just do the exact same loop every time i'll just Switch i'll lose motivation yeah. inside of it especially during hard tired hours and um, I did a test. It was just a three hour test, uh, on Sunday and the hardest thing I think for everybody is going to be waiting, waiting uh, to the yeah. top of the hour. Okay. 
that was very difficult to wait um because after a while i was ready to go and i was like oh i gotta watch that clock so that will be an interesting game inside of this we've been spending a lot of time talking about that so different expressions of it jen you were saying that you might have a method that you and your people are going to do it how are you guys thinking about doing it we're thinking about just to because my biggest struggle when this came up was like how to do this and not be so disruptive to my family like i want to do it but i don't want to be so selfish that this ruins my whole family's weekend and they don't want to do it so um so a couple of us are going to get a hotel and <laughs> we're going to go from the hotel and do our mileage from there and so i i think it'll actually kind of make it fun interesting different well and we'll get some work done in between those miles. So I always have social media work I need to do. So we'll come back after a mile and get online, do some stuff and, and then get back out for the next one. Yeah. Paolo, how about you? What, what do you feel is going to be like your, like, how are you going to do this? Yeah. So I'm going to do the, the night segment. I, 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 uh, I muscled a couple of my buddies, you know, into it and, 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 and they're up for it. So we're going to be trading off, uh, it will start my driveway for a few hours and then we'll move it on to someone else's. Um, and, uh, that's how we're going to do it. And we're going to have fun with it. I'm also going to working to unless, unless my kids, um, the oldest is 14 and to do, uh, their age over six hours, right. Probably starting during the day. So it's fun. We can have a family affair. Um, and we'll see how that goes, but yeah, that's, that's kind of my game plan. So you're going to do, and you're right, Chris, by the way, not that I didn't mean to rip the, the guidance I did get from, from my buddy was do not, whatever you do, do not do the same route over 12 <laughs> or 24 hours. <laughs> Switch it <laughs> up. Not me will get to you. Constantly varied. Yeah. It, uh, the, the, even the small test that I did, it was kind of fun just having, like I had mapped my run. And I improvised a couple of routes and that helped, uh, it helped me do it. So, um, well, great. So different ways that we can express this thing. It's really a test of a volume of running that you're going to subject your body to. It's also a test that, um, of what happens with you. You, ha you need to train to run and stop and run and stop, which is a different physical beast. That is a different physical beast than just going. So um, that is something that I'm intentionally beginning to train myself on because as soon as I'm done with my run, like my body is like, oh, get a cup of coffee and relax because <laughs> most of my workouts are like, oh, after the hour, you're done. So um, that's a different thing. And I could feel that the very first day I did those three hours, I could feel that mental and physical because your mental in, informs your body. And so my body started closing down and getting ready to relax and recover. And I was like, Oh, we got to go run again. Um, so, I mean, that's, that again, that sounds like a fun challenge. <laughs> yeah. That's, <laughs> it, that's what I'm going to say. Um, <laughs> It is. It's worthy. That's for, that's for sure. So, but that is a big part of the challenge. So other things that, uh, that we want to answer, we had a couple of questions from our community uh, that we want to get to inside of here. Um, <clears throat> one of them that I should just handle right away is we sent out an email to our community that has a, a, a Google sheet that wasn't like the link didn't work. So uh, we have fixed that link and you can click on that and sign up and let us know what you're planning and uh, yep. we'll be in communication with you. So go do that. Um, Jen, what else do we need to talk about? Um, people wanted to know about training. How do we train for this? And we have uh, recommendations on how to train for that. And I believe that, well, we do, but it's, that will be coming out from us to everybody. We're going to be talking about it in more depth as we go along, right? Yep. Yeah. We're going to okay. use a general pattern and then either scale up or scale down. And while, while um, Paolo said we have three choices in there, it is possible. <laughs> like if somebody's got knee stuff going on, hip stuff going on, and we're, we are able to scale this. This is really a community event and a scalable event in lots of ways. If somebody needed to get on a bike, 
and it was a bike challenge to do that. Like you're not going to get kicked out if you can't use your lower body walking or running or hiking. Um, so we just have three main ways that we're expressing this thing. Um, we also had a question on what is this going to, we have a, we have a registration and um, what, what is this going like? A reason that we are doing this, is this benefiting any organization? Does one of you wanna, wanna field that question? Hello, yeah. sounds good. You they got it. They both start laughing. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, I will. I will talk about it. Um, we have discussed this benefiting an organization. We are still working on who that is and how we're going to do that. But it is something that we're interested in as a group. And so it also might depend on how many people we get signed up in here. And so how much we can raise for someone or something out there. Yeah, early, early on, our discussions were everything from, are we going to try to give money to this thing or just begin with the raising of awareness? Uh, because it was, honestly, it was just a group, a very small group of people going into this. So we didn't go into this to have it be that thing, um, but we had an interest in, in, a, in benefiting something bigger than us, so. Uh-oh. Well said. So, Paolo, um, what else do we want to, oh my gosh. Oh, if Jen gets yeah. the giggles. She's got it. Uh-oh. <laughs> this happens. Oh, this wow. happens. You want to put the giggle timer up? Oh yep. my goodness. No, that? do not. <laughs> there's, there's the, never yeah, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just discuss stuff and see if she comes down. Yeah. It's like she's floating. In Mary Poppins. <laughs> oh, She's yeah, floating yeah, yeah. up to the ceiling. We'll just talk until yeah. she floats back down. All right. Uh, okay, just keep talking. Paolo, <laughs> Paolo, is there anything else that we want to uh, cover with this? Yeah, I just think, you know, for, for all the folks out there that, um, you know, that I know or don't know, please invite friends to do this. Um, and oftentimes, you know, we, 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 turn on the TV or listen to a podcast and we're seeing extraordinary people just doing extraordinary things. And that's the expectation, you know, when you're, you know, some sort of superstar, but the fact of the matter is, is we're all extraordinary. And I think this is an opportunity for, for us just to show how special we are. So it's, it's not ordinary people doing extraordinary things, but extraordinary people, us doing things that are just truly amazing. So I just, I think, Going into it with that, you know, that mind frame, I, I think is, would be very impactful and helpful. Um, it's just, you know, something, something to have and, 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 and to know. And you're just going to prove it to yourself. Well said. Love it. Um, good. Will Jones, you got anything for us? Let's have fun. Have fun. I'm excited about the Crucible, October 23rd. <laughs> like, I'm ready to go out and do it right now, but, you know. Uh, <laughs> I might only be able to 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 withstand doing it only once, so I'll, I'll save it till the twenty third. <laughs> yeah, hold out, Jen. <laughs> Jen, you're back. Uh, <laughs> back. Hey, I do you have any together just in time to hear that gem from Paolo? So that was good. Do you have anything uh, to sign off with? Um, join us. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna have a lot of stories to tell. So with us yeah absolutely it is an invite and we mean it to be a generous invite to so many people come with us uh challenge yourself and let's try to have some fun and do something bigger than you might do without friends inviting you into something and pushing you into something uh it's a good community push absolutely all right you people that is it uh thank you for watching the quick pod and uh ask any questions um that's it yeah absolutely <laughs> absolutely how about that sign up yeah <laughs> boom <laughs> boom <laughs> Eric Tarts to come.